visit us on the web at nilfiskyou.com. Nilfisk University is the cleaning equipment industry's most comprehensive web-based training and interactive learning resource. Your degree in success is just a click away at Nilfisk University. Welcome to Nilfisk University, where excellence is attained through active learning. In this lesson on use and care, we will be focusing on the Aqua Plus and Aqua Plus AXP. The intended audience for this lesson includes anyone from new salespeople just entering the industry to seasoned sales veterans and managers who want a refresher course on the Aqua Plus. But most importantly, this lesson is for anyone that recognizes the power of knowledge and the advantages of continuous learning. Now let's review the outcomes for this course. After completing this lesson, you will know the six major systems of the Aqua Plus, understand how each system operates, know each of the controls and what their function is, understand the major components of each system, understand the information that is conveyed by the display, understand how to run the Aqua Plus in lift mode, understand how to toggle between lift and restoration modes, understand how to use pre-spray mode, understand how to use a wand with the Aqua Plus, and understand nightly, weekly, and occasional maintenance tasks. This course will cover the following topics. First we will spend some time familiarizing you with the Aqua Plus. We will begin by covering the various systems and how they each function. Within each of these systems we will spend some time discussing each of the major components. Once you have gotten to know your Aqua Plus, you will learn how to properly operate it in each of its modes. Finally, we will spend some time going over the required maintenance of the Aqua Plus in order to keep it performing in peak condition for years to come. There are six main systems on the Aqua Plus. The solution system consists of the solution tank, pump, and nozzles. The solution system is used to deliver the cleaning solution to the deck. The scrub system consists of the deck, brushes and debris hopper. The scrub system's function is to remove any large debris and to agitate the cleaning solution into the carpet which in turn loosens the trapped soil. The recovery system consists of the vacuum shoes, vacuum motors, and recovery tank. The function of the recovery system is to remove the dirty cleaning solution from the carpet and contain it. The electrical system is comprised of the batteries and charger and is used to power the Aqua Plus. The user interface contains a control panel and paddle and allows the user to set the extraction functions and control the movement of the Aqua Plus. The chemical system is on the Aqua Plus AXP models only and contains the AXP chemical system. This system functions to administer chemical flow during extraction and pre-spray mode. The solution tank on the Aqua Plus has a 20 gallon capacity. The fill port is located on the right side of the operator's controls. To fill the Aqua Plus, turn the solution cover counterclockwise until it may be removed. Once the cover has been removed, you may place up to 20 gallons of water in the Aqua Plus. The solution from this tank will be dispensed through one of two nozzles. The first nozzle is the lift low moisture mode nozzle. You may access this nozzle by removing the front nose cone. To do this, simply lift straight up on the nose cone until it disengages from the body. The second nozzle is the restoration mode nozzle. In order to access this nozzle, you must first remove the nozzle cover by removing the two Phillips head screws on either side of the cover. Removing the cover will expose the restoration nozzle. It is important to make sure that both of these nozzles are always kept clean and free of debris in order to provide proper cleaning. The scrub deck on the Aqua Plus is actuator controlled and designed to fully function automatically. The actuator adjusts to provide proper brush pressure at all times. The dual cylindrical brushes are tools for removable and counter rotating. To access the brushes, you must rotate the knob on the top of the brush cover counterclockwise. Once you have done this, the cover may be slid downwards. Now that the cover is free, the cover and brush may be slid away from the deck. It is important to make certain that the brushes are kept clean and debris free. The Aqua Plus comes standard with yellow nylon carpet brushes. 
The brushes shown here are the optional green antimicrobial brushes. The debris hopper is designed to capture any large debris. To remove the debris hopper, simply grasp the metal handle on either side of the deck and slide the hopper out. The hopper should be removed and cleaned after every use. The vacuum shoes on the Aqua Plus are designed to automatically move with the deck and adjust to changing floor conditions. They are supported by gas shocks that allow the shoes to float over thresholds while maintaining optimized down pressure. Like the brushes, the dual shoes are tools for removable. In order to remove the vacuum shoes, you must first remove the debris hopper. Once the hopper is out of the way, you may start by removing the left vacuum shoe first. Pull up on the round pull pin directly behind the shoe. At the same time, slide the shoe forward. Remove the vacuum hose from the top of the shoe and retrieve the shoe from underneath the deck. It is important to properly clean each vacuum shoe after every use. The large recovery tank has an extra wide opening to allow for proper cleaning. It is important to rinse out the recovery tank following each cleaning. The lid should be left open to allow for proper drying and to avoid unwanted odors. The drain hose is located on the rear of the machine and features a pinch and pour feature. To use the drain hose, simply remove it from the clips on the back of the machine, pinch the hose closed while removing the lid. Once the drain hose has been positioned over the desired drain location, the hose may be unpinched, allowing the recovery water to pour out of the tank. The Aqua Plus features dual vacuum motors. These motors are housed directly under the recovery tank. Each vacuum motor has an inlet screen filter. These filters are located under the recovery tank lid and should be cleaned at the end of each day. The Aqua Plus runs on a 24 volt battery system. This system consists of four 6 volt batteries housed beneath the recovery tank. To access the batteries, simply lift up and raise the recovery tank. If you have a wet battery system, it is recommended that you check the fluid level in each battery cell on a weekly basis. Remove each cap one at a time. If the cell is low on fluid, top the cell off with distilled water and replace the cap. If your Aqua Plus has sealed AGM batteries, this is not necessary. The Aqua Plus comes with an onboard smart charger. The charger allows the Aqua Plus to be plugged in and charged at any standard outlet. The charger is located on the back of the machine and it is important that the Aqua Plus be charged each day following use. The user interface on the Aqua Plus consists of two user activated input devices, the control panel and the paddle. The control panel features various icon driven buttons, a graphical display, and a key switch. The control panel sets all extraction functions of the Aqua Plus and provides all required information on what the current operating status of the machine is. The paddle is used to control the Aqua Plus's speed and direction. Pushing the paddle forward or backward will control the direction. The speed of the Aqua Plus is determined by how far the paddle is moved. The paddle also contains a potentiometer. By turning this potentiometer, the user may set the maximum travel speed for the Aqua Plus. The potentiometer on the Aqua Plus only functions during transport. During extraction, the maximum speed is automatically set to deliver optimized carpet extraction. The AXP chemical system is only used on Aqua Plus AXP models. This is an open chemical system, which means that any appropriate chemical may be used. To access the AXP chemical system, simply open the front hood of the machine. You may then loosen and remove the small hose connection and remove the bottle from the machine. The dilution of the chemical is automatically controlled to provide proper cleaning and chemical usage. Once the chemical bottle has been removed, you may add chemical by turning the large cap counterclockwise and removing it. The AXP bottle is designed to hold up to one and a quarter gallons of chemical. Once the bottle has been filled, replace the lid. The dilution is set by moving the magnetic slider on the side of the bottle to the appropriate setting. Once this has been set, the Aqua Plus AXP will automatically dispense the proper amount of chemical whenever the AXP system is activated. Insert the filled AXP bottle back into the machine, reattach the hose, and close the hood. 
The Aqua Plus has two extraction modes. The restoration mode is a traditional deep cleaning extraction mode where the solution spray is directed to the floor in front of the counter rotating brushes. The flow rate of restoration mode is 0.8 gallons per minute which is fairly typical for most automatic extractors. The Aqua Plus has a second extraction mode called lift mode. Lift mode is Advance's patented low moisture cleaning mode. In lift mode, a carefully measured solution flow is applied directly to the brushes. The brushes then groom the solution through the carpeting. The dirty solution is left near the carpet surface where the vacuum shoe is collected. Lift mode uses only one quarter gallon per minute, which results in dry times of around 20 to 30 minutes. The Aqua Plus is CRI approved using either restoration or lift mode. Besides using the Aqua Plus in extraction mode, there are two other modes that provide increased cleaning. The Aqua Plus AXP models have pre-spray mode. Pre-spray mode is used either as a carpet pretreatment or with liquid encapsulation products. The chemical pre-spray or encapsulant is placed in the AXP container. While in pre-spray mode, the vacuum will be off and the shoes will be in the up position. The chemical is sprayed onto the floor and agitated into the carpet surface. This method allows for an entire room to be giving a deep treat pre-spray without any additional equipment. Once the room has been pre-sprayed, the Aqua Plus may then be used to extract the carpeting. The Aqua Plus also has a wand mode. Wand mode allows for an external detail hand tool or wand to be attached to the machine for detail work. When in wand mode, the vacuum and the solution spray are active, but the deck and shoes remain in the up position. The control panel of the Aqua Plus manages all of the extraction functions. The panel consists of easy to use, touch sensitive buttons. Each button controls the functions of the Aqua Plus and the Aqua Plus will automatically respond to the user input. Optimum carpet extraction is a function of many factors, including brush pressure, solution flow, and extractor speed. Each of these buttons will automatically set the required function with no further user input. The display screen will provide the user with input as to what function the Aqua Plus is currently performing. Let's take a minute to identify all of the controls. This is a display panel. It is used to provide feedback to the user as to what extraction function the Aqua Plus is currently performing. This is the extraction button. This button lowers the deck and sets all extraction functions including the solution and vacuum. This button will also toggle the Aqua Plus between restoration and lift modes. This is the deck up button. This button will raise the deck and cancel all previous extraction processes. This is the vacuum on off button. This button is only used during extraction if the user wishes to turn the vacuum on or off. This is the wand button. This button is only used while the Aqua Plus is not extracting. Pushing this button will activate the solution and vacuum for use with an external wand. This is a solution on off button. Like the vacuum on off button, this is used only during extraction if the user chooses to turn the solution on or off. The solution button will also function to turn on pre-spray mode on the Aqua Plus AXP model. This is the AXP button. The AXP function is for only for use on the Aqua Plus AXP model. Pushing this button during extraction will toggle the chemical flow on and off. This is a key switch. The key switch has only two positions, on and off. And this, of course, is the key. Now that we've covered an overview of the controls, let's take a more in-depth look at how each one functions. In order to start using the Aqua Plus, you must first insert the key. Once the key is in the key switch, turn it clockwise to activate the display panel. The Aqua Plus display panel will display the battery charge indicator, the AXP indicator and current set dilution ratio and on the right side of the display screen the current mode is shown with the use of icons. Let's take a minute to better understand the display panel. The information that the display panel provides is critical to understand what function the Aqua Plus is currently performing. On the left side of the screen you will see the battery charge indicator. Make sure that the battery is always fully charged prior to beginning your extraction. The AXP indicator shows whether the AXP is active or not. If the AXP icon shows a box with a crossed line through it, it is inactive. If the AXP icon is alone, then the AXP system is active. The current dilution ratio that is set on the AXP bottle is displayed next to the AXP icon. 
the dilution ratio will not always be displayed. During extraction, it will turn off until the AXP button is pressed again. The right side of the screen tells the user what mode the Aqua Plus is operating in through the use of icons. This is a lift nozzle, and this is a restoration nozzle. The brush is displayed directly under the lift nozzle and above the carpet. The particular mode that is displayed here is standby mode. You can tell the Aqua Plus is in standby mode because no solution is flowing from either nozzle icon and the brush icon is in the up position. This display shows lift mode. In lift mode, the lift nozzle icon will show solution spray, and the brush icon will be next to the carpet. The default for the AXP is off, but by pressing the AXP button, the user may toggle the AXP system on and off. This display shows restoration mode. In restoration mode, the restoration nozzle icon will show solution spray and the brush will be next to the carpet. The default for the AXP system is off, but like lift mode, the user may toggle it on and off using the AXP button. This display shows pre-spray mode. In pre-spray mode, the icons have slightly changed. Only a spray pattern is shown on the carpet and no brush icon is displayed. In pre-spray mode, the AXP is automatically set to on. Now that we have gone over the controls and understand the display screen, let's learn how to run the Aqua Plus. In the picture below, we have removed the front hood to allow you to better see the nozzles and the deck. In normal operation, the hood is always left in place. In order to extract carpet, you will need to press the extraction button. When the extraction button is pressed, the Aqua Plus will automatically go into lift mode. You will notice that several buttons on the control panel will display lights. The extraction button, the vacuum button, and the solution button will all light up. Also, the display screen will change from standby mode to lift mode. As this occurs, the deck and shoes will move down to the carpet and the lift nozzle will become active. Once you press the paddle forward, solution will flow from the lift nozzle and the vacuum motors will turn on. The reason that the Aqua Plus's default extraction mode is lift mode is because in most situations lift mode will be the preferred mode for cleaning. However, when you get to high traffic areas such as walkways or near building exits, it is likely you want to switch from lift mode to restoration mode to add some extra cleaning power. While you are extracting, press the extraction button again and it will toggle the Aqua Plus between lift and restoration modes. When you switch from lift to restoration mode, you will notice several things. First, you will notice that the control panel light on the extraction button will move and the display panel will change from lift mode to restoration mode. Secondly, the machine will respond by slowing down and the restoration nozzle will become active, which increases the solution flow. Occasionally prior to extracting, you may want to pre-spray the carpet. Rather than using a traditional pump-up pre-spray bottle, you may use the pre-spray mode on the Aqua Plus. Remember, this function is only available on Aqua Plus models with AXP. Make certain that you place only clean water in the solution tank. Fill the AXP bottle with your favorite carpet pre-spray and set the dilution ratio on the side of the AXP bottle. The solution spray button has dual purpose. When you are in extraction mode, this button will turn on and off the solution flow. But when you are not in extraction mode, this button activates the pre-spray mode. Make certain that the deck is up. Press the solution button and you will see that the solution and AXP control panel lights will turn on. Also, the display will change from standby mode to pre-spray mode. The deck will move down but the shoes will remain in the up position. Both the lift and restoration nozzles will become active. When the paddle is pushed forward, the machine will begin to deliver pre-spray solution out of both nozzles and the brushes will agitate it into the carpet. Once the room has been pre-sprayed, you may cancel pre-spray mode by pushing the deck up button. You should then extract the room only using hot water in the restoration mode. Pre-spray mode may also be used with encapsulation chemicals. In order to perform detail work, you may wish to attach a hand tool or carpet wand to the Aqua Plus. In order to do this, 
You must first make certain that you are in standby mode and that the deck is up. Attach a solution and vacuum hose to the Aqua Plus by removing the Aqua Plus's recovery tank hose from the standpipe on the lower rear left side. Attach the solution line to the female quick disconnect located next to this standpipe. Then attach the vacuum hose to the recovery hose. You may then connect the other end to your favorite carpet tool. When you push the wand button, the deck and shoes will remain up, the wand, solution, and vacuum lights on the control panel will light up, but the display will remain in standby mode. In order to properly maintain your Aqua Plus and keep it in peak operating condition, it is important that you perform each of the following tasks following each use of the Aqua Plus. Each one of these tasks was covered to some degree earlier in the lesson. Empty and rinse out the recovery tank. Remember to store the machine at night with the recovery lid open. Always remove each brush and inspect and clean them. Remove the shoes and make sure that the inlet is clean and inspect for any damage. Remove and clean each vacuum inlet filter. Empty the debris hopper and rinse it out completely. Finally, make certain that you plug the Aqua Plus in to charge the batteries. Each week the following tasks should be performed. Check each battery cell to make certain that the water level is correct. Carefully remove each cap and look to see if the plates are exposed. If they are, add distilled water and tightly replace the cap. Inspect and clean the solution filter. The solution filter may be found under the machine directly in front of the rear caster wheel. Clean the spray nozzles. The lift nozzle has a small orifice and must be cleaned weekly. In order to remove the lift nozzle, push in and twist. Once removed, the nozzle may be rinsed with vinegar to remove any deposits. Never use an object to ream out the orifice as you will damage the nozzle. Make certain that when you replace the nozzle, the spray pattern is centered in the slot over the brush. The restoration nozzle has a larger orifice and should be simply inspected prior to cleaning. Other recommended tasks are to make certain that you place the owner's manual and parts list in a safe place so that you may use them for reference. It is a good idea to record your serial number in the owner's manual. You may locate the serial number in the battery compartment on the right hand side. Once a month the Aqua Plus chassis should be lubricated and yearly the carbon brushes and the motors should be changed. Please refer to the owner's manual for more detail on these tasks. Here is a list of the course outcomes that we laid out at the beginning of this lesson. It is very important that you understand and are able to explain each and every one of these. You must know the major systems of the Aqua Plus and understand how each one operates. You must know the controls and what their function is. Understand what components comprise each system. Understand how the display works and what information it is conveying to you. Understand how to run the Aqua Plus in lift, restoration, and prey spray modes. Understand how to attach a wand to the Aqua Plus. And understand what tasks are required to maintain the Aqua Plus. Visit us on the web at nilfiskyou.com. Nilfisk University is the cleaning equipment industry's most comprehensive web-based training and interactive learning resource. Your degree in success is just a click away at Nilfisk University.